Hey, what is up you guys? You Pixels here and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1. So today we are beginning to play Episode 2 of the first season, which I was actually supposed to start playing last week, but I did not upload a Telltale Walking Dead video last week because I just did not have time to record it, so I didn't upload a video last week. Um, but this week, I'm, I have the time, I am able, so we are going to record Episode 2. I was going to say Season 2 completely incorrect. Today we are going to start episode two and um, yeah this is exciting so let's jump into this. Previously on the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Oh, okay. Starting off by killing a zombie. Love that. Also, it's so pretty outside. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Okay, I'm sorry. Who's the guy with the glasses? I don't remember him. Is he a new member in our group? It's a long shot. 
I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Hey, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Wait, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Penny, keep those walkers off of me. Please hurry! Please! Get me out of of this. Okay, we're gonna have to cut his leg. I'm sorry. I don't think it's gonna go through the chain. Uh, it's not gonna go through the chain. Gotta get the chain! Oh god! I have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Let's please. go! Let's go! <laughs> Lee, it has to be me! <laughs> Time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to. Ah! Oh God! Shit! Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. You. Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Get the gates open! We've got wounded! 
Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on. Oh my god. What happened? Oh, god. What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Okay. Hmm. That's not that great. That I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to be rationing out food. Um. Uh. Let me. Let, I. Let's talk to her. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. So, the correct thing would be to give, to, to, to take care of the kids first, right? Give them, um, food first, right? Um, and then worry about everyone else. And there's only two kids here, so that's, uh, half of our rations. Okay, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Will you because... hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I... I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. He's so mean. I hate him so much. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? 
That was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kabja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Okay, let me talk to the kids. Maybe we should give them food. I don't know. I worry about the kids more than the adults because the adults could probably hold I out, right? Clementine. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. But, yeah, I feel like the adults could probably hold out for a bit. Um, you know, being adults, even though everyone starves the same, but I, I, I feel like even though the adults do need the food because they're the ones, like, doing things, so maybe they need the, the food more, but then again, it's just crackers and half an apple. So I I'm um, I'm gonna give it to the kids, um. But I'm gonna give it to Duck first, so people don't think that we're giving special treatment to Clementine. Hey Duck, how about a little food? Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. And then we'll give Clementine. Some food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. We're going to give her the half apple because I feel like that's more filling than cheese and crackers and a piece of jerky. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay, so now we have two more pieces of food that I have no idea who to give food to. Um, part of me wants to give food to Katja, I think is how you say her name, because she is literally performing, like, surgery on someone. Um, so I feel like she probably needs it. But there's so many adults here and so many, like, I don't know who to give food to. Um, yeah, I legitimately don't know who to give food to. The other guy, the new guy, said he felt weak because he hasn't eaten anything. But I'm pretty sure that's how everyone is feeling. Um, you know what? She's been really, really friendly to us. Uh, Carly. So I'm going to give her some food. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay. Um, 
that eliminates one more person. So, okay, I'm gonna give one to- I'm gonna give food to Kacha. She's literally performing surgery on someone right now. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. I already gave food to Duck. Okay, I guess I'll give food to... I'll give food to Kenny and then the uh, the new guy that we... Like, he, he said he was feeling weak, right? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. You know what? I'll give it to the guy who said he's feeling weak. You know, oh, why can't I move? Oh, um, there's How's this new guy. Me? Oh, from up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Oh, shut the fuck up. Honestly. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know, people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Um... Should we offer her some food? I mean, mm, I low-key want to give it to the guy who said he's feeling weak. I mean, he's literally helping build a wall, um, and this chick is just sitting down. Um, I, I don't know who to give the last bit of food too which is just cheese and crackers like it's not much but it's something um i don't know who to give it to i honestly don't know who to give it to fine uh shit okay so we gave food to the kids we gave food to kenny we offered her food she didn't want it we offered kacha food she didn't want it um we haven't offered the new guy food let's talk to him Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Uh, I don't know who to give food to. I'll give it to... Shit, but like, a part of me wants to give it to the old guy with heart problems. Because, like, he has a condition. But he's such an asshole. He is such an asshole. 
I dislike him very much. <laughs> I dislike him very much. But the but the other girl, I forgot her name. She says that it looks like we're playing favorites, which technically we are. Um, so I don't know who to give food to. I'll give it. Uh, I just, um, I'll give it some mark. I'll give it some mark. It's fine. It's fine. Even if we look like we're playing favorites, which we are. Um, so you know. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Harley. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? 
We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? You haven't noticed. Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all for yourself! Oh no, no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. 
This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. You know, as a person who has watched every single episode, of every single Walking Dead show. That means The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead World Beyond, The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, and The Walking Dead Dead City. I've watched every single episode. I feel like I'm a pretty good expert <laughs> at the Walking Dead universe, and I'm just gonna say I don't trust these people. I, I, I feel like you shouldn't just trust people openly um, when when you meet them for the first time in the zombie apocalypse because some people act like they're really sweet and very caring and um they're not <laughs> they are not uh oh give me a second okay my bad i had to pause the recording for a second to let my cat out of my room because usually when i record videos he's not in here but since he fell asleep on my bed i felt bad kicking him out so i just let him sleep and i guess uh i guess he wanted to get out i guess he wanted to get out um ooh Let's check out this swing over here that the dude um, mentioned. Also, this house is like on a perfect hill. I'm pretty sure if like if this farm flooded, their house would be like fine. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. 
They can save for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Uh, I... If you fix a swing, I, I don't know that that is exactly a sign that you could pull your, your weight, you know? Um, but yeah, look at this house. It's like on a perfect hill. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hmm. Pointy. Really? That's all you had to say about that? Pointy? This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, you're just gonna put that right in your back pocket? Yep, that entire board is just gonna go right in your back pocket. Makes sense. Makes <laughs> makes sense, I guess. Um, so let's go fix the fucking swing. Even though, do we have rope? I don't think we have rope, right? This needs rope for the other side as well, right? The board is good, but I need some rope. Well, Lee, I did not see rope anywhere, so I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to help you with that. I do not know how to help you with that. I did not see rope while we were out investigating. Uh, oh, can we go over here? Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Okay. Um, but no, seriously, wait, okay, where can I get rope? Because I didn't see rope over here, and we, you know, this is like the only area we've actually walked around, so. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we're really only using them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know.
So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart. Just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, I told you what was happening. What the? Hell? Get to the gate. Get down, you asshole! Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on, that gate is our only way out. Who asked? How, how, what, what the fuck do we do? It looks like we have to push this, right? But like... Show yourself! Oh, I see, I see. Did you really think you fucking us? Okay, can we push it now? No? Trying to lure me to the open! Oh, I see. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the move! Shit, that hurts. You fuck with us! Now we'll take him and go! Get I got one of you! You didn't deliver the goods! Now what happened? We're gonna take Shit. One it's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Uh, uh, Where do you think you're going? I see him! I'll fuck you, strong bitches up! Uh, another one? 
Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here on our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? What's those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn it, hurts. Hey y'all. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey! Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Okay. Um, I'm still concerned about what the bandits said. They said something about, like, they promised food and they didn't deliver or something like that. All over the property. So I'm a little bit worried about that. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. What is this hay? Just, just regular hay? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. It's over here. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Oh, this is nice. Can we not talk to you? Oh, we can. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. 
Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Okay, I don't think we could talk to the old dude, can we? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, let's go down here, then. And can we... Check out the barn? Can we go inside the barn? You know, something The Walking Dead has taught me is that barns... They're not always good. They are not always good. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room oh, in the house okay, for all so of us, you're just gonna repeat the same thing. Camp out here in shifts. Okay, I guess. Is that all? I think that's all. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Okay, it's through here. Okay, so are we supposed to talk to the brothers now? Why don't we check on Clem? Maybe she's having fun on the swing, right? We should check on Clem, see if she's having fun. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you 
you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? See anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. I, I saw boxes of what I'm thinking is food on a table. Just water. What's over here? Nothing. Empty. Why would I look at a lawn chair? There's nothing in that chair. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Okay, so this might not be the bandits, right? Nothing but fuels. Shit. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yuck, I don't need that. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. 
You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Well, okay then. You gotta, you don't gotta be such a dick about it. Looks like they expected to be here a while. up in this was more like the hell Don't you fucking move. shit put your guns down I ain't going back if you tell him Jolene ain't going back Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them men who lived here, but it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice, not at all. They took her away into the woods, wouldn't tell me where, and I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed, <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, Put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I honestly feel bad for that woman. Yeah, she was a little bit cuckoo, but who wouldn't go cuckoo if somebody kidnapped your kid? Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. No, 
lot after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. And screwed up for everybody then, why don't you? Well, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Did she just... Did she invite us over to the barn just to uh, shut the door in our face, basically? Also, are we going to find batteries for the camera we found in the, um, in the tent? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I've never pet a cow. Now I want to pet a cow. I'm sad. I am sad. I'm not seeing anything in here. I'm looking for batteries. Because why would they give us a camera, tell us that it doesn't have batteries, but let us keep it? I'm pretty sure they want us to look for batteries, right? Right? In the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Okay, that kid is annoying. That kid is annoying. Anything back here? Nothing? No batteries? Empty. So, just empty boxes. I love that. I love empty boxes. What is this? 
You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. So let me guess, now we have to find a screwdriver? What the fuck is this? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Oh wait, I didn't mean to interact with the same door again. I, I thought that it wanted us to interact with the gray thing on the wall um, because the, the little bubble popped right over it so I thought it was for the gray thing. Never mind. Okay, empty. Love that. It's a feeding trough. So... There's still a door over here that we haven't checked. There's some fence posts. Okay, but how are we expected to... I haven't seen a, a screwdriver or anything like that. So... What now? What, what, what was that? They just gave each other looks. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Um, okay, maybe we need a distraction? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, sounds like a... Sounds like a plan. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Is there anything over here, maybe? 
that I haven't checked out. No, it doesn't seem like we could, we could walk all the way over there. Um. Hmm. Okay. We already talked to Lily. Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay, I still- I- I still don't know how we could distract that dude. Um, can we interact with this? I don't think so. Maybe we could go out here instead? I- I literally don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I see that toolbox. I see that toolbox over there. Okay, we might actually get something out of this. A multi tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do. So, we took the entire belt thing that was inside of it, right? He said it threw a belt. So, I'm pretty sure he's thinking that it, like, the belt broke. But if the belt would have broken, it would have still be inside, right? Just broken? Doesn't he find it weird that it's completely gone? Dad! 
Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Oh my god, are we seriously doing them one by one? What the fuck? One by one? Are you serious? Okay. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. What is with this orange cord? Gauze pads. Some kind of lotion. I could use a shave. Okay, I guess we'll follow the yellow or orange, I should say. Orange uh, cord. I don't know why you're sneaking up here. You're coming up to see a friend. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to check up on a friend. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? So much morphine for candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Uh, is it this door?
happen? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. man did you find something oh sit your ass down lee this lady has made you a meal yeah lee what's gotten into you he just had a start he could use some goddamn manners you're eating human meat that's crazy what the that's hell? ridiculous uh, you're scaring the kids lee lee what the hell is wrong with you don't indulge him lily there's always something with this guy mom i was eating that what is going on they're picking us off to trade as meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? Fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking Y'all out of here! Near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad, this goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walker. Dad, I, I feel bad for her. She's out here barfing. Lisa. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Stop! Ah, damn it! Come on, try yourself. Coward. Dad! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? Yeah, I, such luck. I I highly doubt that they're gonna lock Here's you into a room with a giant hole. Let us out now, if you wanna live. That is not 
gonna help. Don't wanna know what kind. They're not gonna open the door! You, you think a fucking apocalypse <sighs> gives you the right to chop? I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy! <sighs> Saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time! God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking Four. worthless, Lee. <laughs> It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. We still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Uh, okay. So, I... Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm totally on board with killing him. Because, like, you know, he could turn. But the game gave us an option to save him. It literally said, help Lily save her dad. So, I thought, hey, maybe there is a chance to save him. Um, but I guess... I mean, honestly, Kenny's right. Kenny's right. It's better that we killed him. Or that, at least, that he killed him. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You've got to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, okay. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. 
Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Wait. The the old dude, he has a coin, right? Didn't he um the, the, the dead dude, didn't he yell at the new guy with the glasses who got his legs eaten? Um, talk, like he yelled at him about giving him five cents or something like that. He has money, right? I'm sorry, Lily. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it. Back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it.
I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Oh, we could only have one weapon? Um, I honestly rather slice and dice, if I'm being honest. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. But if we're gonna try to take a stealthy approach, maybe the zapper is better? What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. The barn. Oh shit! His garden place, like you said. And keep sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Now I pick which one to keep alive. Not the kid. Not enough meat on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, neighbor. This is Man, my favorite focus. part. Focus. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. What's he doing? See? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. No! Oh no! Gotcha! Let's go. I'll keep Clementine safe. I'm honestly loving the sound of this rain and thunder right now. It's kind of soothing. 
it's honestly kind of soothing. He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. And stick close. And Lee, be careful. Go, Brenda. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I'm pressing this button like crazy. What the fuck? Lily! You got me. <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah. 
I would imagine so. What do you think? Fine then. Fine. I saved Duck on the farm and didn't save Sean. Now I kill someone before I can put your little girl in danger, and I'm even more of a monster. I don't care. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna keep doing what needs to be done. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> hmm. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back? then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. You know, I, I feel like if, if they're out looking for gas, they would leave one person behind at least. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Hey. There were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Thank you. 
Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rich. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you where we are. How are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I oh, find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much faces. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> Well, okay then. That, oh, I just hit my mic. Sorry. That was, um, that was, <laughs> I feel like we got a lot of information in the last, like, 20 minutes. Uh, okay, so the people in the farm were eating other people, and that lady that I kind of felt bad that got murdered was stalking us, and I guess wanted to take Clementine, I... Okay, um, you and 44% of players chopped off his leg. Okay, what did other people do? They, they keep chopping the chain? I, I honestly didn't see how that was gonna work. Um, shot Jolene. You and 60%, 61% of players, uh, had Danny shoot her. I, you know, I didn't want him to shoot her. He just did it. Um, help kill Larry. You and 51% of players didn't help. Okay, cool. Um, you and 39% of players killed both brothers. So it seems like a lot of people just let him survive. But the crazy thing is, though, if you let people survive, sometimes they might come after you. Sometimes they might come for revenge. So maybe it's better to kill them. Um, stole food from the car. You and 51% of players stole food. Yeah. Yeah. It's about survival. It's about survival. Okay. Awesome. That was uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 2, Starved for Help. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave this video off here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.